So you're intrigued by Kartra, but you already have an established WordPress blog. What's a guy to do? In this video, we're going to find out. Hey guys, Jack here with another feature review of Kartra. And in this video, I want to go ahead and show you how easy it is and some of the benefits of in using WordPress's power with Kartra's power in a nice little fused little relationship here. And before we go into the how-to, because we'll go ahead and do this together so you can see how quick and easy it is to do. But before we do that, I want to talk about some of the benefits of not picking one or the other. So the first benefit is Kartra has come out and said very publicly that they are not trying to be the next WordPress. They're not trying to compete with WordPress. They're not trying to be a blogging platform. They are going to specialize in what they are special with, and that is in page building, in membership sites, in integrating your CRM with your email system, with your help desk system, with your checkout functionality. It's basically doing everything but the blog posting. And I have heard people say they're going to go ahead and use Kartra as a blog system anyways, and just by creating pages and writing it all through. And that may work, but I would just kind of caution you that, you know, Google loves WordPress. About 30% of the internet is on a WordPress site, and WordPress is the leader in self-hosted blogging. Additionally, I don't know how the SEO, like how well optimized, Kartra is going to be for SEO because, as I just said, it's not their focus for it. So if you're thinking about generating organic traffic to your online business, I would recommend you go ahead and do the route that I'm going to show you here in this video. Another benefit is that WordPress, when you have a home on WordPress, you have the ability to put all those plugins in, which could be the one of the reasons why you're looking at Kartra in the first place, but there are going to be some pieces of functionality that Kartra has chosen to exclude and probably to have that nice tight, you know, Apple like feel where they what they do, they do great, but they don't let you do everything. And that's where WordPress is kind of like Windows or Android to keep this analogy going. You know, they're more open source. They allow you to kind of go in and do what you want to do. The problem is you have to maintain that. But there are some plugins, just little things like using pretty links to be able to mask affiliate links with your own domain name, being able to put Yoast SEO if you're going to be blogging as a part of your business to be able to make sure you're optimizing your posts as you're writing them. So there's a number of different plugins that I will be using on my, the WordPress side of my blog, even though my home page, my sales page, my opt-in pages, my squeeze pages, my confirmation pages, my funnel pages, all that stuff is going to be in Kartra, but for the user, it's not going to be perceptible. So I think that's enough benefits right now. So let's go ahead and dive in and I will show you that this page here, this is an example page. This is its stock image is everything, but this is my WordPress site. As you can see, I've got the WordPress header up here. I'm actually using the Divi theme from Elegant Themes. So we're on WordPress and yet this is a page that was entirely built in um, Kartra. So what's nice about this is we can click through and I'm actually going to link to a different, <laughs> a couple different blogs here. I'm just testing around here to make sure this all works. But essentially, you can go uh, from page to page, and this is now very heavily a WordPress-based system. Go back through, and now we're here with Kartra. And from what I can see, there's not a real big hit on the uh, page speed. So let's go ahead and build this together. And look, it even has, this is a Kartra-based opt-in form that pops up when you when it detects exit intent. And we can also go down here and embed a fully uh, functional opt-in form within the page itself. So in this video, we're going to build this page. We'll set up WordPress to accept it. We will show you also the big piece is that all your analytics is also tracked when you're doing the system here through Kartra's analytics platform. So without further ado, I'm a little long-winded tonight. Let's pop into Kartra and just build a blank page that we're going to embed as the home page, as an example, on our WordPress site. So we'll just start out as a squeeze page. Uh, let's just let's do a blank canvas real quick. Launch the builder. Call this home test for YouTube. And I'll, I think I have a YouTube category. There you are. Just because I like making videos and showing off this really fancy tool. So we'll load up the page builder. I'll just add a couple sections in so you can see exactly how easy it is. Let's go into the sections. We will add a my computer's a little slow today. Add a top menu. We will add a hero section. Let's use this guy. And we will add an opt-in form. Call to action. Um, I don't want to make it a purchase or add to cart. Let's just make a very simple 
opt-in form. That's what I meant to do. And let's go this guy. Alrighty, so that's our form. That's all we really want, but we do need to add the opt-in form here as an asset. So let's just select, I think I created WordPress form test. I created that earlier. There you go. So we're ready to go. So now, let me move myself out of the way. We will publish this live. And here's where we're going to get the page code. Normally you would get a link if you're going to link this out somewhere. And But here we're going to get the page code and it's going to give you one little JavaScript line. So I'll copy that. And we, we're going to do a couple things as well here before we come back to this section. So I'm going to copy that into a notepad and just hide that for now. And we're good to go. So the page is online. We have a page. It is in Kartra. We're going to now put it onto, it has a working opt-in form. Uh, let's see, is that all we need to do? We can show you pop-ups, but it works just the same. So now what we're going to do is pop over to our WordPress site that we want to turn into a Kartra marriage, if you will. And the first step you want to do is go into plugins and say add new plugin. There's one plugin we want to use here. It's called Blank Slate. And what this plugin does is it allows you to basically wipe all the formatting, the header, the footer, all the content, the sidebar, wipe it off of pages on your WordPress site. Don't worry, you can turn it on and off and you can specify for certain pages. So I've already uh, installed this, but you can install it and activate it. It's a free plugin. And once you've done that, we're going to go into pages, and make a new page. So what we're going to do is uh, change the home page to being a Kartra page here. So I'll call this Kartra Home just so I can find it easily later. And normally when you pull up your WordPress site, you're going to have you know your visual editor here where you can kind of see things. And if you want to go to header text, you have header text there. But what we're going to do is go over to the text section here. And I'm going to come back and grab my JavaScript code and just put that one line of code in there. That's all you need to do. Except... <laughs> Over here, since you've installed the blank slate template, you're going to click on template and be careful your uh, your site or your theme may have something like a blank page and that can and cannot work for you. So I'm going to use blank slate. That was the plugin that we installed and that gets rid of everything. And if we go ahead and publish this, I'm not even going to preview it. I know it's going to work. That's how much confidence I have. And I'm just going to control and right click so I can open this link into a new tab. And voila, this is the page we just built in Kartra in like 10 seconds. Looks pretty nice. And if you look up here, it is on my WordPress, one of my WordPress domains that I've kind of neglected over time. So the next step we're going to want to do is go into our settings in WordPress and go to that reading section. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to make this the default home page. So your home page displays either your posts or a page. Here we've created Kartra Home. So we'll select that, come down and hit save. So now what this should do is if we come here and let's just go to Google. And I'll go back to just the root of the blog we're testing and bada bing bada boom you have now replaced your home page in WordPress with your Kartra page you built in the page editor in like a minute or two if I stop talking so the next thing you'd say is well isn't that going to hurt your search engine optimization because now all you have is a, a JavaScript snippet in um, in WordPress for uh, Google to search and crawl on. And that is a valid point. I definitely think that when it comes to search engine optimization, your posts and your, your big lengthy pages where you're going to be trying to rank for a certain keyword, you're going to want to keep those on WordPress. But if you're going to do fancy sales pages where your people aren't going to find your sales page from search engines anyways, unless you have some really fancy tricks I'd love to hear about. So on those, it really doesn't hurt you at all to build your page in Kartra, or any other hosted solution and embedding it into your WordPress site using that JavaScript code. Another benefit of doing it this way, if we pop back over to Kartra and let's go to our 
dashboard real quick. If we go to my pages and go to analytics, what I want to show you is that even though that page is um, stored on WordPress, you're still able to see the analytics in Kartra. So all the all the fanciness is still maintained. Let me find the page we just built. I think it was homepage test for YouTube, right? There you go. So today we've had the one visitor. That was the one time I went to it. If we click on this, it'll just give you a thumbnail here. What you can even do, you can go to your leads and let me pull up the account that I'm logged in with, or it has my cookie on. And if you go over here, uh, they have all this information about what this person has done with you. You can go to their log, and you'll see here that I visited two minutes ago. I visited the home page test for YouTube. And I also saw that opt-in form because that opt-in form was embedded into the YouTube or into the homepage on WordPress. Sorry, making sure I get all my <laughs> nouns and adjectives straight there. So this is really powerful, right? Because one line of code you put into your WordPress site, you've replaced it, you can add all the links to your blog section, to your featured posts, all that stuff you can put into that Kartra page. And the beauty is if you want to, let me show you this. If you want to update something within the page you just built in Kartra, which I have to bounce all the way back, unfortunately, to get to, um, it'll update real time. So I'm going to change a picture. It might take a minute just to you know propagate on the interwebs, but once it is there, you don't need to go back into the HTML on your WordPress site to update it. So you, you kind of get the best of both worlds here. You don't need to Im import all of the media, all the pictures and graphics and things like that into your WordPress site because it's just running off that single JavaScript snippet. So while this loads up real quick, okay, so we're loaded up. So let's say I want to change this picture. Hit my pencil. I'm going to edit the image. And let me instead use this one. Confirm. Apply. So definitely not the right size image for this uh, process, but that will work. And let's go ahead and um, save progress, uploading the page to the internet. And this is just going to be a challenge here. Let's see how quickly it picks it up. Okay. So it takes a second. So I'll pause the video real quick and we'll come back once it's up. Okay. So it took just a minute there. And so now you can see we're back on the home page of my WordPress site and it has a new image there. I did not tweak anything in the post itself. It just came through from the Kartra servers coming, bringing its way over to WordPress. So what are the takeaways here? The takeaways are that WordPress and Kartra is not an either or decision. They can combine. And when you do that, you get the best of both worlds. You get the search engine optimization power of WordPress. You get the ability to customize plugins to do what you need it to do. But you also get the integrated kind of sense and feel of Kartra, being able to put your membership sites, your sales pages, your squeeze pages, and all the funnel steps all together and see the analytics across the board, even if they're not seeing it from your own URL, your own Kartra URL, even if you're using your uh, WordPress domain. So if you enjoyed this video, if you got some value out of it, go ahead and click subscribe below and uh, hit the little bell so you can get notified when I bring new videos out. I'm really enjoying my testing period with Kartra and going through and learning as much as I can about this amazing platform. I'm going to be creating a little membership area using Kartra, of course, showing off how to build certain types of funnels using some of the best marketers in the world and some of the most popular funnels that are out there that some people think you need external tools for, but I'm going to get a little bit scrappy, a little bit savvy and figure out how to do it in Kartra easily and quickly. And I'll show you click by click how I'm doing that. If you want to get involved in that, go ahead and click the link in the description below and I'll see you guys on the inside. Take care.